Hi guys, today we're going to look at how we can rotate a game object around a given point. Right, let's get started by creating a new 3D project in Unity Hub. We're going to make use of a free asset from the Asset Store to help demonstrate this. We'll browse to the Unity Asset Store and we'll search for Poly Planets. We'll add this asset. Then we'll open in Unity and import into our project. We now have several planet prefabs to make use of. We'll choose the one called Orange Planet and drag it into the hierarchy. Then we'll reset the transform. Now we have a planet in the scene, let's make it rotate with a very simple script. We'll click Add Component and add a script called Rotate. Let's double click the script to open it in Visual Studio. We'll add a public float variable to control the speed of our rotation. We'll then use this field in the update method to rotate the planet around the Y axis. To do this, we'll make use of the transform rotate method. We'll supply a vector that specifies how much rotation we want, which will be 0 on the X axis, our rotation speed on the Y axis, and 0 on the Z axis. We need to remember to multiply by time dot delta time to ensure that it rotates at the same speed regardless of our frame rate. Let's save the script and then switch back to Unity. We'll set the rotation speed to 10 in the inspector. If we now press play, we'll see the planet slowly rotating. Before we go any further, let's move the camera so that it isn't too close to our planet. We'll stop the game and select the camera in the hierarchy. We'll set its position to 10 on the Y axis and minus 60 on the Z axis. We'll also change the rotation to 10 on the X axis. Let's also set the clear flags value of the camera to solid colour. Then, for the background colour, we'll choose black to make it look a bit more like space. Now we want to add another planet that rotates around this one. We'll look at a couple of ways to do this. The first way is to add a planet as a child of this one. Any transformation of the parent will be applied to the child. So if we move or rotate the parent, the child will move and rotate accordingly. To do this, we'll drag the ice grey planet from the project panel onto the orange planet in the hierarchy. We'll reset the transform and then set the position of this new planet to 20 on the x-axis. Let's press play to try this out. Now, as the original planet rotates, the new planet rotates around it. We can also add some local rotation to the new planet. Let's stop the game and click on Add Component. We'll then add our Rotate script. We'll set the rotation speed to minus 100 and click play again. The planet now rotates around its local Y axis, as well as rotating around its parent. While this method works, the rotation of the two planets is directly linked. If we wanted the planet to rotate around its parent any faster, we would need to increase the rotation of the parent itself. We'll look at another option now that gives us a bit more flexibility. Let's stop the game and drag another planet into the hierarchy. We'll reset the transform and set the position of this one to 40 on the x-axis. We'll add our rotate script to this planet as well. Let's set its rotation speed to minus 50 and press play to start the game. The new planet spins on the spot but doesn't move. To have it rotate around the centre planet, we'll stop the game and add another script called Rotate Around Point. Let's double click this script to open it in Visual Studio. This will be very similar to our previous script. We'll add a public float variable to hold the rotation speed again. We'll also add a variable to hold an object we want to rotate around. We'll now add a line in the update method to rotate around the pivot object. 
We'll make use of the transform rotate around method. The first parameter is the pivot point, which we'll set to the position of our pivot object. The second parameter is the axis to rotate on, which we'll set to be the y axis. The final parameter is the size of the angle to rotate, which we'll set to our rotation speed multiplied by time dot delta time. Let's save the script and switch back to Unity. We'll drag the orange planet into the pivot object slot. Then we'll set the rotation speed to 15 and press play to try it out. Now the new planet rotates around the centre planet, but at a faster rate than the ice grey one, completely independent of the rotation of the orange planet. OK, that covers everything for this video. Hope you found it useful. Please leave any questions or feedback in the comments, and subscribe and click the bell icon so you don't miss the next one. If you find the channel useful and would like to help support our work, you can find us on Patreon and Coffee.com. Thanks guys!